recapitalization refers to a process whereby a firm changes its capital structure and a leveraged recapitalization refers to a process whereby a firm issues new debt raises certain amount of cash and uses that amount of cash in order to pay dividend to its shareholders or repurchase some of its shares from the existing shareholders now it is assumed that this leveraged recapitalization also provides some tax benefits to the firm's shareholder let's see that how this tax benefit can be computed for the firm's shareholder as a result of such transaction we assume that the firm has outstanding shares of 20 million whereas the share market price is 15 dollars each the firm at present has no debt in its capital structure but the firm plans to borrow new debt at the amount of 100 million dollars and the corporate tax rate is 35 percent now the question arises that would there any boost in the stock price and the benefit to the shareholders of this particular firm using the given scenario now as the firm is unlevered so the value of this unlevered firm is the product of its number of shares and the share market value which is equal to 300 million dollars and the firm if goes for the issuance of new debt then there would be the interest payment and accordingly the interest tax shield will be there the present value of this interest tax shield is simply uh, e the product of corporate tax rate and the debt value the present value is equal to 35 million dollars so the levered firm's total value is now the sum of the un unlevered firm's value and the resulting present value of the interest tax shield now adding 35 million of the interest tax shield to the unlevered firm's value of the 300 million the levered firm's value comes to 335 million dollar on the other side if we determine the value of levered equity in this particular firm then the levered equity of this particular firm is the difference between the value of the levered firm and the amount of the debt and the value is equal to the 235 million dollar so the debt has reduced the value of the levered equity as a result of leverage now we see that there is an increase in the firm value by 35 million but on the other hand there is a decline in the equity value by rupees 65 million now the question arises would there exist any benefit to the shareholders of this particular firm under these circumstances let's see is there any the value of levered equity as we have seen is equal to 235 million dollar and as a result there is a share repurchase by the firm to the tune of 100 million dollar so this has uh, increase the value of the equity by rupees 335 million dollar although there has been a decline in the number of shares but the amount of 100 million is gone to the shareholders pocket so there is total value of the levered equity as a result of this transaction is now 335 million dollar but the value of this equity when the firm was unlevered was 300 million dollar so we see that as a result of this leveraged re uh, leveraged recapitalization or the re leveraged recap the value of unlevered unlevered equity has increased by 35 million dollars now this was the uh, total amount analysis let's see this increment in form of share purchase a uh, share price in the market now how gain can be determined as a result of this share repurchase we see that the firm has outstanding shares of 20 million 
the repurchase occur for 6.667 million because this repurchase occur at a market price of 15 dollar using the amount of 100 million dollar so the repurchase occur for 6.667 million the remaining shares are 13.33 million but these 13.33 million shares are worth for the market value of 335 million this gives a new market price per share of 117.625 dollar per share this means that there is a per share gain as a result of this share repurchase transaction and that share per share gain is the difference between the share repurchase price of 17.625 dollars and the existing share price of 15 dollar so the gain is 2.625 dollars per share this means that the total gain to the remaining equity shareholders is the product of 13.33 million shares multiplied by the per share gain of 2.625 and this gives the total gain for the remaining equity shareholders by rupees 35 million dollars now if there is no arbitrage pricing what will happen let's see an example that if there is exist any arbitrage opportunity the shareholders are required to buy 15 dollars before the repurchase transaction and immediately sell these shares at the price afterwards which is 17.265 dollars each share this means that this would increase the share price by the value of interest tax shield and this would be the new this would set the new share price at 16.75 dollars each and this also gives a gain of 1.75 dollars for both of the shareholders for the shareholders who are tendering their shares at 16.75 and for the shareholders who are holding their shares at existing share price of $15 each so the benefit of interest tax shield goes to all of the 20 million shares who are the original shares issued by the firm to determine the total benefit we need to multiply the 20 million shares with the differential gain of 1.75 dollar each share and it gives a total gain of 35 million dollars that we see that the total gain of 35 million dollar is going towards both of the shareholders who are selling their shares to the firm back and those who are holding their shares with themselves now how this recapitalization with the help of leverage can be analyzed using the market value balance sheet we see that the recap this recapitalization can be analyzed using the market value balance sheet assuming that the market value of the firm is equal to the market value of its assets this means that the firm's assets now must include the interest tax shield as a new asset now this analysis can be done in three steps at first we see that there is an announcement of recapitalization and as a result the investors will anticipate an interest tax shield to the tune of 35 million dollars and that will also be increased in the value of the firm's assets the second step is the issuance of debt by 100 million dollar by the firm this will increase both the firm's assets in the form of cash and firm's obligation in the form of debt on its liabilities side and the third step to analyze is the utilization of the proceeds of the debt to repurchase the shares 
this will decline the company's cash on the assets side and on the balance on the liabilities side it will reduce the number of firms existing outstanding shares now all of these three steps can be analyzed using the market value balance sheet of the firm we have the market value balance sheet where the firm has the original assets when the firm is an unlevered firm of 300 million and there is initially no as cash and interest tax shield in the firm's total assets and for liabilities we have no debt so to determine the firm's equity we need to deduct the value of liabilities from the total assets and the equity is the same amount of 300 million the firm has out 20 million outstanding shares the per share value is now 15 dollars each now as a step one when the recap uh, recapitalization is announced and there is an anticipation of interest tax shield this is added to the firm's assets as a new asset it raises the total asset to the amount of 235 million so with no debt till now the equity is also equal to the amount of total assets and having 20 million shares the new share price is 16.75 dollars each so the share price has been risen as a result of recapitalization's announcement and as a, at a second stage where the firm issues a debt there is a cash proceed of 100 million dollars so the total asset are now 435 million dollars but now there is debt in the liabilities side so the equity is the difference between total assets and the debt which is now 335 million dividing this equity over the 20 million shares again we have a share price of 16.75 dollars each now see that again uh, we have in the third step when there is a repurchase of the firm's issued shares there is an outflow of cash that uh, reduces the firm assets to the tune of 335 so this is the new value of the firm's total assets at the time of share repurchase but they exist continually the amount of debt so the equity of the levered firm is now 235 million dollar but remaining outstanding shares are 14.03 so the price remains constant at 16.75 dollars each this shows two types of conclusion here that although the leverage reduces total market value of the firm's equity that we see which is now 235 dollars a million dollars but the shareholders capture benefit of the interest tax shield that we see these benefits are a per share 1.75 million that is increment from 15 dollars and a new price is 16.75 dollars each and this benefit is due to the interest tax shield so we see that although the leverage uh, reduces the firm's total value and accordingly the total market value of the equity yet it it allows the shareholders to gain benefit of the interest tax shield